Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Jalal Ahmad, and in this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to design a uh, clock-like, how to uh, design just like this, a clock-like design and analog wall clock-like design uh, using HTML and pure CSS properties and some touch to CSS3 as well. So without wasting our time, uh, this was just a demo, and uh, this there is nothing behind this. It is just cached, and when I press uh, refresh you can see it's gone so let me come to source code this is the source code and uh, let me first uh, take a, a div with a class clock first I will uh, style the body uh, background equal to radial gradient and in this I will use the RGBA color codes that is uh, 255 200 and 0 and 1 opacity and in corners I will use uh, black let me show you that's our color okay now um, I will make things text line equal to center and you can see what we are going to center so uh, let me first style this clock div that is clock width is equal to uh, let me take it as 500 pixels and similar as the height that is 500 pixels background is equal to uh, radial gradient and uh, it is white at a center and black at the corners so now I will uh, move it to the center that is for that position uh, display equal to I will make it as display equal to inline block and you can see it is centered now now I will make the border radius equal to 50% and it's circle now okay I will use no border that is 50 pixels and solid and now we'll use the color and you can see that is our clock like style now now I will create the needles for that purpose I will take a div div dot second one needle and the remaining minute Our needles these are the three needles okay first I will style second let me style it as uh, height equal to 250 pixels and width is equal to uh, 10 pixels will be fine and uh, border radius is equal to 10 pixels as well and uh, background is equal to radial gradient and that is I will take it as uh, I will take it as uh, black at center and red towards the corner so you can see this is our needle now we will position it but let me first write here something that is s m and h you can see that these are the remaining divs and we will see in a little while here okay i will move it to line height let me take it as 45 pixels and you can see it is moving down the color 
I would like to use as white and now it's fine okay guys now I will move it position that is relative and now I can move it toward the center for that I will use left property that is 250 pixels is comes at the center but no it is not at the center because 10 pixels are now from center uh, is the width of this needle so I will take half of that div which is 10 uh, half of 10 which is 5 and will minus from this value and this will become center okay now this is the complete center so I will now use here the padding so that it can look nice a little okay so the remaining two needles I will style now that is men this one and and this one is for how okay let me show you the same style is applying now here and to the remaining two divs which was applied to the second okay first of all let me take it uh, min and the width is fine and the height is fine as 250 pixels and width I would like to take as 15 pixels the body radius is fine line height color white position relative these are the same and background I would like to make it as a little diff different and will make it as blue now you can see that so the same uh, I would like to take half of this width and will my will minus from 250 so it will come 242.5 pixels now it is centered you can see <coughs> similarly I will use the top, top property and will use minus 250 pixels to take it to the center and towards upside okay now it's turn to uh, style this hover needle and you can see that it's not fine normally it's a little small and okay let's show you first I would like to move it towards the top So uh, 250 is at the center from uh, bottom to top uh, there are uh, total 500 pixels uh, which in which 250 is center and uh, I will use here a value that is minus and 250 pixels will carry this one up to here but now I would like to move it this is the bottom and I, I need this bottom at here so bottom I will plus these uh, values that is 180 plus 250 so it will become uh, 250 350 and 430 so I will use here the 430 value and you can see it is centered now I will change this height to 20 pixels and now it needs a little effort here that is 240 so it is centered now now I will change this color that is see green I will use and you can see so I need this uh, hover needle below all the two uh, below the below the second and minute needles and second and uh, second needle I will take at the top that is Z index as uh, 3 and here Z index as 2 and uh, here the Z index value will I use that is 1 okay you can see that 
So now, uh, this time I would uh, use the animation to move uh, these needles. So for that purpose, I will use a rule that is introduced by CSS3 and it's keyframes. And now I will use a name for this animation that is sick anim and from and to are used here. So I will use the transform property that is rotate z i would like to use that is the 3d transform property rotate z and uh, that is from zero degree from zero degree to 360 degree i will rotate this uh, needle okay now come to second that is use this property animation that is also a css3 property uh, animation equal to first i will use the name of animation then duration and uh, let me use 10 seconds and write here linear and infinite terms so you can see uh, by default it is uh, moving around its center its axis of rotation is at center so for that i will use uh, a value that is that is transform origin is equal to bottom so you can see now it's the axis, the axis of rotation of this needle is at the bottom and in bottom it is on the center so the same i will use here uh, let me first uh, take those properties which are same in these three in dart sec dart main and dart hour classes that uh, these are the border radius and all these and let me write it separately set dot main dot how paste it here and one thing more that is this will also be common in here okay So you can see nothing is uh, happening wrong, wrong here. So same is the case. I will copy and paste uh, this line for other uh, two needles and will rename it. That is men anim for minute needle and hour anim for hour needle. And same is the case as uh, copy this one and paste it here change here the name to men anim and let me change this one as well as 15 seconds and also come here now and now use our anim and write here 20 seconds so let me refresh and you can see every needle is now circling uh, now uh, using its duration to complete its animation and it's infinitely rotating about its x-axis around its axis of rotation so we are done with this animation and this rotation and now i will uh, use i will now um, grade it, uh, these parts of the clock as numbers so let me take numbers okay uh, for numbers i have a picture that is i have designed this picture for in photoshop for this purpose so that it can be used as background let me remove this one okay and uh, use the background url 
property that is clock dot png and look what happens okay now i will use no repeat and you can see these repeating backgrounds will go away and will make it to the center so you can see no center what's wrong okay so you can also use a picture to uh, use uh, for uh, getting these numbers around the needles and also if you do not have this picture or such a picture uh, so you can use uh, these devs i will copy this one and will paste it inside the clock that's so there is nothing in uh, these divs there, there is only 12 div there are only 12 divs in which the contents are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 uh, up to 12 and its class names that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 up to 12 and now uh, i have copied uh, i will copy this style that is in here there is not a rocket science uh, styling in here that is uh, it's only 12 classes here and i have styled it like font family equal to arial um, that is the font size is increased color is this one and position is relative so that it can be moved accordingly and z index is zero so that it looks below all the needles and text shadow uh, is used as a glow and 10 pixels is uh, the blurness the smoothness of shadow and black is the color of shadow let me re refresh and you can see these are the numbers and it's mad position equal to relative so that we will move it uh, here and we'll use it around these needles okay now copy and paste this style that is each class is now positioned on its it is okay uh, each class is positioned uh, on uh, its required position so 12 uh, is used this value 11 10 and H and everyone has uh, taken its own position accordingly top and left properties are used let me save this one and let me click refresh and you can see that okay guys uh, that was about let me uh, tell you something before finishing this tutorial we have used this background which was a picture and now we will use the radial gradient white and black color okay this is our uh, uh, our design like analog clock our wall clock so that was about the tutorial guys if you like my uh, video please rate comment and subscribe my channel and leave your comments about this try and also about your try uh, 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 did you enjoy it or not um, please share your comments thank you guys thanks for now